Tonight, it's now the largest wildfire Minnesota has seen in years. But for one couple living near the Greenwood fire, it's not the first time they've had to evacuate their home. Plus, it's an uphill climb for law enforcement as vehicle accidents rise in Minnesota. Now they have a plan to slow the trend. And as people continue fleeing Afghanistan, Minnesota's top leaders are offering refuge to those who need it. From CBS 3 Duluth, this is the CBS 3 News at 10. Good evening, I'm Kristen Bakke. Thanks for joining us. New evacuations near Isabella tonight. As we learn, it could be months before the Greenwood fire is out. Superior National Forest leaders give an update tonight on what's the largest Minnesota, uh, wildfire Minnesota has seen in years. Greenwood is now 4,700 acres in size, burning southwest of Isabella. 90 homes and cabins have been evacuated. 40 others could soon be evacuated. 200 people are now involved in the firefight. 120 more arrive tomorrow. No structures have been damaged at this point, but there's major concern about the weather coming tomorrow night and Saturday and how it could grow the fire quickly. Officials say it could be a couple weeks before there's any containment. It may soon, it may take snow flying in October to help put it out completely. And tonight, fire officials came together to update community members on how they are planning to keep people and property safe. CBS 3's Natalie Grant was in Finland tonight with more on the efforts. Welcome to the Greenwood Fire informational briefing. Close to 100 concerned community members and property owners gathered in Finland Thursday night, anxiously awaiting the first public update on the Greenwood Fire. They're doing the best they can. Wally and Joyce Keel have lived in their Isabella home for 26 years. They are one of the 40 people in the pre-evacuation area. Oh, we're pretty lucky. The way the wind has been blowing, it's been blowing kind of away from our place. But if the wind starts to come out of the west, we've probably got a big problem. Packing their bags for a fire is something the Keels know all too well. Just 10 years ago, they did the same for the Pagami fire. I think we were a little more informed on the Pagami because it was a lot bigger at the time. And there's so much going on in the fire department all over the country that they just haven't had time to do anything but try and fight the fire. This busy fire season has called for reinforcements with an Eastern Area Incident Management Team now leading the charge. Right now, their main goal is to move the fire in a way that protects most property. But that whole eastern side is, is our concern now. And luckily enough, if that fire front right now progresses east, that will be south of McDougal Lake. Where all, most of our structures are. That's why we're trying to keep the spread from heading north. For residents like the Keels, it's a waiting game, but they are thankful for meetings like this keeping them informed. What, what else do you do? You know, you just kind of hope for the best. If you missed the meeting tonight and would like to watch it, we'll have a link on our website, cbs3duluth.com. Well, Peter joins us now for a quick look at the weather. Peter, as we heard there, there's a lot of concern about what the weather will do in the next few days in regards to that fire. Yeah, you know, fortunately, there is some rain in the forecast, but there's also lightning, which is not good into that regard. But there is also much rain in that forecast. And the drought monitor shows that we really need as much rain as we can get. This is the drought monitor that was just released today. It shows ever-expanding amounts of extreme drought, as well as exceptional drought in the far northwestern quarter of Minnesota. And also down in Wisconsin, as well as the UP of Michigan, abnormally dry conditions beginning to expand there as well and today was another dry day at that with temperatures climbing into the upper 80s as well as lower 90s 91 in Moose Lake 92 in Superior 89 on top of the hill at Duluth International 90 in Hibbing 93 in International Falls 92 in Ashland as well as 88 degrees in Iowa you also probably felt that humidity is coming up right now a little bit with dew points in the upper 60s as well as lower 70s so that's pretty noticeable humidity as you head out for any night evening plans tonight also the winds are not good news for the fire either they've calmed down a little bit they were gusting up to 15 20 miles per hour earlier this afternoon but that's blowing all that smoke from the fire up into northern portions of lake in cook county where we see an air quality warning in place until friday at three o'clock also coming friday we're tracking the threat of a few thunderstorms we'll time that all out coming up in just a bit Kristen. all right thank you peter 
Well, drought conditions are causing a variety of issues in the Northland, and now the Minnesota DNR has put water restrictions in place for parts of the state. The restrictions are set for three out of the five state watersheds. For those who live in the Mississippi, Red, and Rainy River watersheds, the DNR is asking you to limit your water usage. That includes reducing landscape irrigation or finding more efficient methods of irrigation. The DNR says areas near Lake Superior are not included in these restrictions. But no matter where you are, you should be limiting water usage. So basically for the average homeowner, that means using significantly less water outdoors. Um, you can still use your same indoors use as normal in January. The restrictive phase that much of Minnesota is under is the second highest phase. Nelson says she doesn't expect the state to be put in the extreme phase. More than 100 people marched the street of downtown Duluth today protesting Enbridge's Line 3 replacement project. Protesters gathered around 10 o'clock this morning outside the St. Louis County Courthouse in Duluth. The group marched down 5th Avenue West toward the Army Corps of Engineers Center on South Lake Avenue. At one point, they stopped traffic on the aerial lift bridge. The goal of today's march is to demand the Army Corps of Engineers pull the pipeline's permit. Protesters say Line 3 is being built through Anishinaabe Treaty territories, claiming that could put sacred wild rice waters at risk. We stood our ground saying, no, we want clean water, we don't want this pipeline, and had to face down the barrel of, you know, less than lethal rifles. We've been shot at with mace, rubber bullets. It's important that we come together like this in a good way, not just always on the front lines, not just in situations where we have to deal with law enforcement. It's about loving, uplifting, and empowering our community and ensuring one another, you know, that I've got your back. Protesters plan to continue spreading their message in a rally at the Minnesota State Capitol on August 25th. There will be another rally in Duluth on the same day. Enbridge has previously stated fixing the pipeline will help keep communities along the route safe. In a recent statement, they reiterated that the project has passed all of the permitting process and environmental reviews. Well, more people are dying on Minnesota roads. So far this year, there have already been 286 traffic deaths. That's up 26 percent from the year before. Today, CBS 3's Quinn Gorham rode along with a Minnesota State Trooper to see what they're doing to help drive those numbers down. Do you have any idea how fast they're going today? That's a question everyone dreads hearing, but it is just a speeding ticket, right? That's exactly the mentality that Lieutenant Jason Hansen with the Minnesota State Patrol's Duluth office says is so dangerous. So people think it's not going to happen to them, and what they need to realize is it's not just them on the roads, it's other people. So. If somebody else is doing something, that could impact them as well. So it's not just you, it's everybody else. That's why the Minnesota State Patrol held what they called Maroon Day on Thursday, hoping to cut down on speeding-related crashes, which have killed 100 people in Minnesota so far this year. We have two coming here at uh, 84. We're only going to be able to get one of them. But... It means all state troopers in northern Minnesota were out on the roads on Thursday making sure people are driving safe. And we're focusing on speed enforcement. We're out there enforcing it to try to make a difference on our highways. And according to Mike Hansen with the Minnesota Office of Traffic Safety, fatalities have risen sharply over the last year or so. And he says it's a result of the pandemic. There's some of the bad habits that just a few people got into last year when the roads were much more open. Um, they're still with us, and so we still have problems with extreme speeds. And those high speeds are bringing with them more deaths. And speed brings additional energy into every collision. And energy means injury, and enough injury results in death. And so if you bring enough injury into a crash, you are not going to survive it, no matter how good the safety systems are in your vehicle. While Lieutenant Thank Jason you. Hansen hopes it'll Thank be the too. added awareness that helps most. You're free to leave. All right, have a good rest of your day, guys. Hansen says even if you're not speeding, you should always be aware of unsafe drivers around you. He says if you witness reckless driving, you can always report it by calling 911. New images continue to emerge from Afghanistan, where thousands of Americans and Afghan special visa applicants are clamoring to evacuate. This newly released video shows a little girl handed to U.S. troops over a wall at Kabul's International Airport. Another shows a woman being helped over.
The Biden administration says 12,000 people have been transported out of the country since the end of July, including American citizens and Afghan allies. But there are still tens of thousands waiting to get out. The department is sending consular staffing teams to Qatar and Kuwait to assist with the transit effort, and we're preparing teams to surge to other processing locations as well. The president suggests U.S. forces could stay in Afghanistan past the August 31st deadline until all Americans are evacuated. Minnesota's leaders say the state stands ready to welcome Afghans fleeing the Taliban. Governor Tim Walz and Lieutenant Governor Peggy Flanagan sent a letter to President Biden. In the letter, they say Minnesotans believe in treating all people with respect and dignity, and the state has a tradition of welcoming those who seek refuge. The letter goes on to say Walls and Flanagan are ready to work with the White House to welcome families and provide safety. Well, new tonight at 10, the Minnesota Republican Party Chair Jennifer Carnahan resigned tonight after facing calls to step down. Carnahan says her choice to resign is in the best interest of the party. She has faced criticism over her close relationship with GOP donor Anton Lazaro. He faces 10 federal sex trafficking charges. She has denied any knowledge of his reported criminal activities. Members of the party had been speaking up this week, telling her to step down. Still to come on Live Local CBS 3, less biting and itching. That's what Northland hikers and campers are reporting. So where are the mosquitoes? We'll tell you next. Another warm and dry day at Duluth International, 89 degrees for today's high, but we have cooler weather on the way, but first, some thunderstorms. We'll time those all out coming up in just a bit. Cracks in brick, cracks in block, call DBS. Leaning or bowing basement walls, call DBS. Sticking windows or doors, call DBS. Settling or sinking foundation, that's right, call DBS. It's a fact. Foundation problems don't get better with time, but they do get better when you call DBS. Call DBS today. Lake Superior College is nationally recognized for quality and affordability, offering over 90 programs, including career, technical, and general studies for transfer. At LSC, you can start here, save thousands. Apply for free at lsc.edu. If you're worried about spoiling your dinner with any of our dollar sliders from 2 to 5 p.m. at Arby's, do what I do. Order a dollar shake to take your mind off it. Arby's, we have the meat. School started. Is your internet fast enough? Gear up during Extreme's end of the summer sale. Get fast internet as low as $19.99 a month for one year. Extreme's fiber powered internet gets an A plus for performance with speeds from 60 meg up to 1 gig. Powerful in home Wi Fi and 99.9% .9 network reliability. Hurry and get Extreme Internet for as low as $19.99 a month for a year. Dial 844-EXTREME2. It's the smart call. Go on, get off the ladder, and place it back where you found it. The days of dangerous climbs are over. Gutter Helmet provides year-round protection, preventing buildup of debris, keeping your gutters clear and free-flowing. With its heavy-duty support brackets and exclusive helmet heat ice reduction system, Gutter Helmet's been designed to withstand the harshest weather conditions. Get Gutter Helmet, America's number one choice for gutter protection. And never clean your gutters again. With a Honda in your garage, every summer adventure leads to another. Get an incredible summer offer on a new Honda, only at the Honda Summer Sales Event. Ready, set, go. CBS 3 Weather is brought to you by Lulich Implement. And I just wanted to start off in showing you just how much the drought situation has expanded across the Northland. Just three weeks ago, there was barely any of Minnesota witnessing extreme drought. Take a look at how much that red has expanded in the past three weeks between 
three weeks ago and now. And you also saw last week the ex exceptional drought situation popping up one week ago, and we still see that in place for the drought image today as well. Taking a closer look at our current drought situation, we have that extreme drought in place for a majority of the Northland at this point. Also moderate drought in places for the hi highlighted Ural highlighted area, and then also that exceptional drought into the far northwestern corner. Also, there's better news, but not good news for northwest Wisconsin, as well as the UP of Michigan, where they are seeing the abnormally dry conditions continue to expand. We need all the rain we can get. Satellite radar shows that there is no rain to talk of tonight. All that green you're so seeing show up on radar right now isn't actually any rain showers falling from the sky. There will be some rain come this time tomorrow, though, but it also looks like that could have some lightning in it, which is not good news when it comes to the fire situation. So timing out everything for you tonight. As you can see, we're, clear, we're dry and clear for tonight tonight. Also working up for today, tomorrow, dry and clear. Most of us probably looking at partly cloudy skies overall for a good portion of the day. But as we head towards about the noon hour, you see more clouds begin to fill in, and you also see those thunderstorms begin to fire up off to our west. Those will gradually fill in west to east as we head through the rest of the day and the rest of the night. Excuse me. By 5 o'clock, uh, hitting our uh, far northwestern portions of our area and probably coming into the Twin Ports, say, between the midnight and 1 a.m. hour. As we head through the rest of the night, they're not long-lasting by any means. By 9 a.m., I think most of it's out of here. Maybe just a few residual showers for the day on Saturday. And I think by Saturday afternoon, we're seeing some sunshine, which is good news if you have weekend plans. But it's not good news because we need all the rain we can get with the current fire situation and the current drought situation we're in. And Sunday at this point looks sunny and dry with temperatures in the 70s. Also, not good news when it comes to the wind threat for the day on Saturday. When we talk about winds gusting up to 30, 35, possibly as high as 40 miles per hour at some points for some places, that can really grow the fire situation drastically in a period of a few hours, which is not good news. And we'll see wind gusts up to 30, 35 miles per hour for a good portion of the day on Saturday. The good news is it's not long lasting. Most of the wind will begin to die off as we head towards Sunday. But first, your forecast for tonight, we see that southerly wind in place between 5 and 10 miles per hour. Temperatures falling back into the upper 60s as well as lower 70s. Same thing for Wisconsin as well as the UP of Michigan, upper 60s down there as well. Temperatures tomorrow climbing close to that 90 degree mark. Most of us not quite making there. We have a few more clouds overhead. And here's how that seven-day forecast shapes up. We have that storm threat for Friday night into Saturday. We'll dry things out for the Saturday afternoon. And then by Sunday, mostly sunny skies prevail once again. And all next week, temperatures in the mid and upper 70s. All right, thanks, Peter. If you've been hiking around Duluth, you may have grabbed a large can of bug spray for mosquitoes and haven't had to use it. Minnesota has been reporting a lack of mosquitoes this summer. CBS 3's Abigail Smith talks with experts on what may be causing a decline in the mosquito population. The severe drought has impacted many things, but it has now caused a lack of mosquitoes in the Duluth area. When there's a lack of standing water around, uh, they don't have any place to develop. Pools of stagnate water are essential for the insects and their eggs to develop and live. And with the recent drought, Rick Poquette of Mosquito Squad, a mosquito control service, says it's made their job a lot easier. With the drought, obviously, we've seen a, a great reduction in standing water around the area. Um, so many of the small uh, pockets of water that normally would produce uh, hundreds of mosquitoes uh, just hasn't been there this year. Climate change can also have a long-term impact on insect life. That's according to Professor Tim Craig with UMD's biology department. He says lots of rain or a lack of rain can increase or decrease the mosquito population for years to come. Some of the climate models predict that we'll have uh, wetter weather here in, in northern Minnesota and particularly more big storms that could leave pools of water behind. So those things might uh, increase mosquitoes in the Duluth area. So for now, you can leave the bug spray behind and conserve water as much as possible as the drought continues to affect the area. To stay updated on the latest drought information, you can tune to our website. Still to come on Live Local CBS 3, your morning cup of joe could soon become your morning cup of gold. We'll explain after the break.
If you love them enough to crawl into a play place to get them to come down, then surely you'll check NHTSA.gov slash the right seat to make sure they're in the right car seat. Toyota's national sales event is on now. Right now, get $750 customer cash on many of your favorite Toyota models. It all ends September 7th. Toyota, let's go places. of every property with landscaping equipment that delivers more. More productivity. More comfort. More durability. And more of what it takes to get the job done right. When your reputation is on the line, you need the Kubota landscaping lineup. Visit your local dealer today. No one serves you better than your home improvement company has industry-leading materials and warranties on all of our window and bathroom products. We also certify all of our installers in our installation training center. Right now, we are offering 20% off all products and zero down, zero interest, and zero payments until 2023. Call us today or go online to book your appointment. If you want your project done right the first time, go with your home improvement company where it's your home made better. When building, you hire a team of specialists to ensure your house turns out exactly as you imagined. Major financial transitions like retirement deserve the same level of care and craftsmanship. At MPPL Financial, we assemble a diverse team of experts to develop a plan to ensure you only have to retire once. Call today for your free second opinion consultation so your retirement turns out exactly as you imagined. MPPL Financial. Answers to the most important questions of your life. Right now, get $750 customer cash on many of your favorite Toyota models. It all ends September 7th. Toyota, let's go places. Get your new John Deere tractor from Duluth Lawn and Sports, the region's largest power sports dealer. What does local mean to you? To me, local means getting your news from people who you trust. I'm Kristen Bakke, Chisholm native, UWS grad, and Twin Ports proud. Local news for local people on live local CBS3. CBS3 Sports is brought to you by Northland Lawn Sport and Equipment. Hundreds of millions of cups of coffee are poured in this country every day, but the popular beverage is getting more expensive. The price of coffee beans has skyrocketed due to drought and frost damaged crops in Brazil, the world's largest coffee exporter. The International Coffee Organization says the overall benchmark price is up 43% since last year. Now consumers are paying about 10 cents more for a cup of coffee compared to last summer. I am a coffee lover. This is very sad news for me. I know. I feel like every time I go to Starbucks, I'm like, I could have had lunch. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that explains it. Yeah, it's like this grande vanilla latte could have gotten me a sandwich. I know. Yeah. But you know what? We keep drinking the coffee, so. <laughs> it's really, it really is worth it, and it really is a necessity. We really don't deserve coffee. Well, coming up next in sports, the USA Hockey Coaches Symposium kicks off. That's coming up next. Want to lose fat quickly? Lose up to one pound of fat a day. My name is John. I've lost 38 pounds with Healthy Systems USA, and it's the easiest program I've ever done. If you've got that, don't worry about that. Healthy Systems USA. 
Mopping the dirt from your floor is a messy chore. Well, now you can spin away those germs with Floor Police, the lightweight and cordless power spin mop that scrubs away messes the fast and easy way. Just add any disinfectant, and at a speedy 100 RPMs, the microfiber pads do all the scrubbing so you don't have to. The secret is the powerful electric motor and rechargeable lithium battery that has 90 minutes of runtime. The swivel head can easily clean in and around obstacles and get deep under furniture. Plus, the pads are machine washable and reusable. Get Floor Police with two microfiber pads for just two easy payments of $29.99. But wait, call now and get two free scouring and two free polishing pads. But hold everything because you can double the entire offer. Just pay separate fee and we'll even ship it to you free. That's two Floor Police mops with pads plus free shipping on your entire order. Call or click now. Call 1-800-592-0163 or visit floorpolice.com. So call 1-800-592-0163 now. I chose a career that isn't easy, it's dangerous, and it's hard. Fond du Lac Tribal and Community College has set me up with everything I need to succeed. Through challenging classes, longer defensive tactics training, and instructors who work in the industry, Fond du Lac Tribal and Community College is setting me up for success. Last school year was hard. But with every vaccination, this coming year looks brighter and brighter. Before going back to school, please get your COVID-19 vaccine today. Rental cars are in high demand, but now there's another option. Rent a Toyota RAV4 or Sienna from Cary Toyota and Superior. Current models fill the rental fleet at competitive pricing. Rent for a single day or save with a weekly rental rate. Enjoy the reliability of Toyota on your next road trip. Unlimited mileage is automatically included when you rent a Cary Toyota and Superior. That's right, unlimited miles. You don't have to buy a new car to drive a new car. Call Cary Toyota and Superior to reserve your rental vehicle today. Voted best car dealer 22 times. In news, there are no second chances. You have one shot to get it right. You need to get all the facts, angles, and points of view. And you need it now. For us, being first is good, but being right is best. Live Local, CBS 3. I have lost 25 pounds, and I'm still going strong. Super easy. You follow the program, and you lose weight. It's just that simple. If you've got that, don't worry about that. Healthy Systems USA. Fifty days remain between now and the start of the UMD men's hockey season, but who the heck is counting? UMD finalized its roster earlier today. Bulldogs returned 21 guys from last year's roster, including four graduate students who were granted that extra year of eligibility because of COVID, as well as four newcomers, three freshmen and graduate transfer Casey Gilling from Miami. The puck drops on My9 Sports on October 8th for the first time this season at Amsoil Arena. UMD takes on Bemidji State in the team's home opener. For a full My9 Sports schedule, you can head to cbs3duluth.com. And last summer, USA Hockey had to postpone their Level 5 Coaches Symposium due to COVID-19. Now, after a full year of delay, they were finally able to open the event tonight at the deck. The Level 5 Coaches Symposium is for aspiring coaches seeking to attain the highest level of certification offered by USA Hockey. Tonight's session included a discussion with Division I Minnesota College hockey coaches, including UMD's own Scott Sandlin, as well as Brett Larson, Mike Hastings, and Tom Saratori. We're also on the panel as well. The three-day event will feature sessions with four different NHL head coaches and other notable hockey minds, including UMD's Laura Bellamy, who will also be on a panel tomorrow afternoon. Well, I don't know about you, but I've pretty much abandoned any chance to talk about the Minnesota Twins until recently. Twins took two of three in the most recent series against Cleveland, and they now have won six out of their last eight games overall. They're red hot, opening up a four-game series tonight with the Bronx Bombers, who have won six in a row. And speaking of six, that is how many runs the Twins trailed by in the fourth inning. Giancarlo Stanton hits a hard sinking liner to left to make it another run, but Jake Cave is there to make the spectacular diving catch to end the inning. And Cave brought that fire to the offensive side as well. Solo shot the opposite way to make it just a five-run game in the top of the sixth. Jorge Polanco adds to it with a ground rule double that scores a pair. 
But Yankees put the exclamation point on this one. Game two is tomorrow. Meanwhile, the Brewers continuing their road tear, going for the sweep in St. Louis tonight. Brewers tie it in the fourth and proceed to steal the lead. Colton Wong hits the ball the other way, allowing Luis Arias and Manny Pina to score the go-ahead runs. Brewers will later extend the lead to three on a Willie Ademi's RBI double to make it a 4-1 game. But Cards bust out the bats for a pair of homers in the fifth, gives them the lead, and that's all they do. They'd hold the Brewers to. Brewers fall 8-4, to four, the final. Well, with the expanded NFL schedule this season, there will only be two more preseason games for the Vikings to prepare for their season opener in September. There are still a lot of number, there's still a number of question marks in the training camp for starters. Who will be filling the third wide receiver spot? New acquisition DD Westbrook was a full participant in practice for the first time in three weeks as he rehabs a knee injury. K.J. Osborne could be the next option at receiver. Mike Zimmer says he'd like to see some success out of the offense when it comes to hosting the Colts on Saturday night. Like I was talking to Adam Thielen today and, you know, and he said I, he, it's important that, you know, they go through the, the pregame routine. You get pumped up to go and, you know, all the all the structure of what you're going to get going to the game is important as well. And, you know, I probably had him, should have had him do, it, do that last week. You know, they just came and worked out last week and they didn't go through all the pregame stuff. So, um, you know, they'll do all that this week and we'll go from there. And receiver isn't their only spot of uncertainty. First round draft pick Christian Darrisaw has yet to be a full participant in practice due to a lingering groin injury. The offensive tackle had another minor procedure done last week, which could keep him out at least until week one. Rashad Hill has stepped in while Darrisaw has been out. Vikes take on the Colts at home this Saturday in their second preseason game at 7 o'clock p.m. That's going to do it for sports tonight. We'll be right back after the break. CBS3 closed captioning is brought to you by Essentia Health Pharmacies. Keeping things safe, simple, and convenient through mail, local delivery, drive through and curbside pickup services. Welcome to Medical Insight, a weekly health care feature brought to you by the experts at Essentia Health. Here is your host, Louis St. George. Today on Medical Insight, Dr. Jamie Kanieff talks about an increasingly common affliction, asthma, which is a disease of the lungs that can affect your ability to breathe. Classic symptoms that we talk about for asthma are uh, shortness of breath, wheezing, cough. Those are the things that you look for. Sometimes it's subtle, sometimes it is a child who's getting winded a lot more quickly than, than their friends. Or it's somebody who wheezes a lot more than their, symptom, than their siblings do uh, after getting a, a viral infection. The mainstay treatment for asthma, um, from the medication perspective, uh, is inhalers. Those are medicines that are delivered through a device um, that you hold up to your mouth and breathe in and inhale into your lungs. Diagnosis is important so that it can be treated properly. At Essentia, every patient has an asthma action plan. It is one of those kind of scary conditions because you can feel fine and still be at risk for having a severe exacerbation that could lead to hospitalization, uh, intubation in the intensive care unit, and, and even death. We live in this beautiful part of the world where we want to be spending time outside exercising and enjoying the outdoors. And if we can't do that because, um, because we can't breathe when we go outside, then that's, that's a problem. If we're ignoring symptoms of asthma, and th then those symptoms are getting in the way of that enjoyment, it's really this cascading effect uh, on our health, you know, that goes beyond just the lungs to our overall well-being, you know, now and decades down the road. For Medical Insight, I'm Louis St. George. To learn more about this and other health topics, visit EssentiaHealth.org slash Medical Insight. The Honda in your garage, every summer adventure leads to another. Get an incredible summer offer on a new Honda only at the Honda Summer Sales Event. Ready, set, go. If you love them enough to crawl into a play place to get them to come down, then surely you'll check NHTSA.gov slash the right seat to make sure they're in the right car seat.
Well, Peter, we have almost made it to Friday, and tomorrow's going to be another warm one, right? Yeah, tomorrow's it starts off warm with partly cloudy skies overhead. Then we see the thunderstorm begin, a threat begin uh, tomorrow evening into tomorrow night. And ch talking about the risk for it, most of us had a level one out of five risk. The area highlighted in yellow, level two out of five risk. The biggest threat for these storms, looking at possibly damaging winds, as well as possibly some large hail. But it's short-lived. By Saturday afternoon, we should begin to dry things out, and the rest of the weekend looks pretty good. And all next week, temperatures in the mid and upper 70s for the next seven days. A cool down, for sure. <laughs> Thanks for joining us. We'll see you tomorrow.